Hey there guys, today I'm going to be continuing my Sonoran Sunrise sim. There have been a couple changes to some of our players, so I will be uh, going over those really quickly, and then we're going to hop right into the season. I'm a little bit short on time, so I'm not going to be uh, simming opening day manually like I normally would. So hopefully we can just get a good outing from Sixto Sanchez and the offense and uh, go home with the win. Alright, so... Uh, as for injuries, we have Chris Sale, who will be our number two starter when he gets healthy. Uh, he'll be out for eight weeks. I'll probably send him on a rehab assignment before he comes back. Nick Birdie, our second setup man, or highest middle reliever, I forget which. He is also out for a couple weeks. And Alec Boehm is out for an unknown amount of time, for whatever reason. And our lineup is pretty much the same it was at the end of last season. I haven't made any major moves here as far as I know. Uh, the biggest moves here are the additions of nobody. Uh, Chris Sale is really the only acquisition we had in the offseason. Edwin Diaz has been re-signed to appease my owner. I'm not picking up these options, by the way. Uh, yeah, so we shall begin the season. All right, I will play just one day right now. Oh, right. Tolbert has to be on the active roster. All right, so I'll play just one day right now so we can see how opening day goes. Oh boy, the KBO prediction, so important. Couldn't live this league without him. All right, so we won. Sixto Sanchez had an outstanding outing. 0.6 war in just one game. 12.9 strikeouts, or uh, 11 strikeouts, one walk, 7.2 innings pitched. Very impressive. Only two hits allowed, no earned runs. Great start to the season. Kirby Yates concluded the last 1.1 innings. He had quite a few strikeouts himself, three. So all but one of his uh, hatters retired were on strikeouts, and then one walk and one hit allowed. Our offense scored five runs. Okay, that's not bad. Nick Madrigal, Wander Franco, MJ Melendez doing well. Wander Franco with a home run. So there we are. All right, let's get into it. All right, so Corbin Martin, MJ Melendez with a lot of improvement. Luis Gonzalez, of course, making his moves. A couple of pitchers improving or dropping, and Jordan Valdez dropping big time. That's a heartbreaker right there. All right, Alec Bohm is eligible to come off. How'd Tolbert do in his brief stint? Terrible. Okay, bye-bye. Hope you like Reno. It is good to have Bone back. And he should not be hitting this low in the lineup by any means. Looks like Cease and Martin had okay, but not great starts. And Wander Franco is really, ooh, point three war game there. Very good start to the year for him. Yeah, leading the league in war and OPS. Oh, Rizzo decided to say no, no, no. He's leading the league in home runs, though, which is something you wouldn't expect from somebody who's still uh, growing in that regard. 1.5 war already. And Nick Birdie is back. Alright, Wes Tunnell, you're probably the worst player on the roster right now, so goodbye. You should not be used more often. Alright, there we are. Anyone want to bet that Wander Franco got player of the week? Freddie Freeman got player of the week. You gotta be kidding me. 
Wander Franco is just absolutely crazy. He's on pace for 22 war. He's got a 300 OPS plus. He's on pace for 88 home runs. How do you say that's not the best player in the league this week? Sixto Sanchez continues to be outstanding. Ben Bowden and Corbin Martin are uh, second in war. I mean, that's pretty bad for a starting pitcher that our second best pitcher is only on pace for about three and a half war. And Nelson Gonzalez is out. Thanks, man. You've been so healthy. I don't think you've ever been hurt pitching for us. Where did what's-his-face go? I just sent him down, didn't I? Oh, I guess I sent him down to a uh, double A. Whatever. No big deal. Oops. Uh, Nelson Gonzalez, man. I put so much money into you and you haven't been healthy at all. And you sucked when you are healthy. Luis Guillorme is second in war. Wow. Wander Franco is just unstoppable. Jared Kelenic, of course, uh, he's been very, very good. Wander Franco has an 18-game hitting streak to start this season. 19 games, 20 games. It just keeps going. He just cannot be stopped. 21 games, and Nick Birdie is out again, as he so often is. I could have sworn that I got a really good uh, trainer. Yeah, Wander Franco's batting 400, and he's on pace for 70 home runs. That's just absolutely crazy. I don't know why he has five uh, successful steals on 10 attempts. I don't know why he has 10 attempts. Who signed an extension? Blake Snell. He signs extensions sometimes. Wow, Sixto Sanchez is keeping pace with Franco. 17.9 war from a pitcher. 0.5 ERA. 13.4 home run or strikeouts, 0.8 walks, and no home runs yet. Don't see some Corbin Martin is starting to step up their game a little. Wander Franco is just so good. 23 games, 24 games, 25 games. He just cannot be stopped. You, li they literally cannot get him out. Yeah, this is just absolutely insane Wander Franco right there. Jared Kelenic putting up a really good year. Luis Arias is putting up a really good year. How's Acuna doing? He's got a really sad start to this season. Uh, who else? Nolan Jones isn't doing as well as you'd hope to see from him. Alec Bohm's got a really hot start, uh, considering that he's already got eight home runs. It's very impressive. MJ Melendez, doing MJ Melendez things, striking out in a whole bunch and not hitting as many home runs as you'd expect to see from a 70 grade power catcher. Wow. Tyler Freeman, he's doing pretty well. Nick Madrigal, he's not, well, no, surprisingly well. I would never expect to see him hit 20 home runs in a season. I mean, not that that's saying a lot, 20 home runs, but still. Sixto Sanchez leading the league in strikeouts, wins, and uh, war. I'm sure he's also leading in ERA. Oh, oh, hey, I'm making improvements. That's good to see. Wow, Brady House, our uh, second best prospect? He's making leaps and bounds. Filiberto Boromini, our best prospect. Wow, 95 grade contact. I mean, he'll basically be another Wander Franco in that regard. Manny Coronado making enormous gains upon his already 
astoundingly talented profile. I think we should probably go through our top prospects and uh, promote or demote where needed. Yeah, Sixto Sanchez winning Pitcher of the Month. Wander Franco winning Hitter of the Month. Not shocking. I don't know if we even have any rookies this year. Well, aside from relievers and Tolbert. All right, for Mini at double A. You know what? Let's be let's be a little aggressive here and put him at triple A. He's 19 years old. He's basically literally following the Wander Franco path, except he has no power and no uh, eye. I think Brady Howells is good to play at triple A. Manny Coronado should not be at the Rookie League. Let's put him in high A. Tenorio, he will... Yeah, let's put him in low A. I don't think he's... Uh, let's put him in class A. Arguin. I think low A is probably about right. Wait, what's his defense at? Oh, okay. No, yeah, no. I'm not going to promote him yet. Manquit's already at triple A. Case Williams is not at triple A. All right, whatever. I'll leave him at double A for now. Robinson's at triple A. Amador is at... I've never... Why do I not remember this guy? He shouldn't be at single A, though. He should be at least at double A. Yasondo. Wow. How did this not show up on the thing? I don't remember Yasondo Ming as being this good. He definitely is starting at double A. And he could earn a promotion if he pit, uh, plays well. Bryce Jarvis. He's at triple A. Alec Thomas, I believe, is at AAA. Alexander Vargas. Oh, he's at the MLB level. He's our utility infielder. Okay. Spencer Jones. He should not be at A. Oh, interesting. He's a genuine two-way player. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's why I took him. Yeah, I guess he kind of should be at low A for now. Alvin Guzman. This is an interesting player. I don't really want to promote him simply because we've already given a lot of people promotions to a double A. Not to say he's unworthy of a promotion. Oh, Valdez. Somehow he's still a top prospect. I guess he's ready to be promoted to the uh, AZL. Or Bala. How have I never heard of this dude before? Navoa. Oh, this guy was a scouting discovery. Interesting. He's still in the international complex. I think he's definitely ready for at least a, the AZL. Kendall Williams. He's a triple A. Matthew Porches. Interesting. A draft pick. I think he's ready for the Rookie League. All right. Now just making sure that we don't have too many players at Triple A. All right, it's time to trade Buddy Kennedy. Brett Degulas. Yeah, all right. This dude can be pitching depth. It's more than uh, what's-his-face can say. Jose Soriano is surprisingly similar to Filiberto Boromini.
I don't think I want any of these guys. I would not mind adding Walker Buehler by any means. Or Bellinger for that matter. Oh, he's on a long-term extension. Okay. Oh yeah, there's no way the Dodgers would do that. Okay, well let's try this. That one's not really a surprise either, but still a little sting. All right, how about Bellinger? What's the deal with him? I don't want Bellinger. Brewster Greater all. Huh, he's got a well-rounded arsenal. Okay. Well, I might as well ask about him. I could use an upgrade in the rotation. He's on a long-term contract, too. I would potentially actually be open to trading Madrigal away. Oh, no, not with an opt-out. No way. Wow, they would take Alec Thomas or Luis Gonzalez. All right, well, I guess Alec Thomas is going to come up and be our utility outfielder then. Oh, I wouldn't mind adding Ferguson to be a reliever for us. I would mind adding him at that price, though. All right, how much money can we get out of these Dodgers? Uh, all right, well, I guess that's what we're getting. And I will go promote Alec Thomas. It's kind of funny how similar Alec Thomas is to uh, Luis Gonzalez in terms of their overall skill level, but Alec Thomas is four years younger and plays better defense. And I think he's better on the base paths too. Is Alexander Vargas a decent pinch runner? Yeah, he's a decent pinch runner. Imagine a Dimebacks team that's so good where Alec Thomas pans out completely and he's not good enough to get a starting job. Wander Franco's hit streak got cut, apparently. But he still has a massive lead in OPS and war. And Kelnick coming second in war right now. Yeah, Franco still has an amazing season ahead of him. Draft pool revealed. Is there anyone interesting this year? Nick Griffin. I'm shocked that that guy is number one overall uh, prospect. This shortstop's not too bad, but he's not great. Two-star potential guys in the top ten. Oh, here we go. Eric Ball. That's a prospect right there. Yeah, this is a relatively disappointing draft class. That dude's not too bad, but we've already got a whole bunch of players like him, so there's not really any need.
Yeah, Sixto Sanchez right now is the leader in all Triple tr Crown categories. Drew Smiley is second in wins right now. Bryce Terang with 19 stolen bases at this point. Oh yeah, I forgot I have this dude now. Kelnick won the Player of the Week award. Wait, Kelnick is 23 right now? Wow. He's even younger than I thought. Yeah, Kelnick is going to be very good for a very long time. This was his age 22 season where he put up 9.2 war. As for Wander Franco, this is his age 22 season where he's projected to put up 14.6 war. And in his age 21 season where he was out for part of the year, he led the league in triples, hit 368, and had 6.5 war playing in elite third base defense. And Sixto Sanchez... In his age 22 season, he wasn't great, but in his age 23 season, he won the Cy Young. And in his age 24 season, he's projected to have the greatest pitching season of all time. So we'll see how this goes, but yeah, this is really encouraging. It looks like Corbin Martin's magic has run out because he's not having anywhere near the year he had last season. Oh, sweet. Nelson Gonzalez is recovering quickly. Too bad he got hurt in the first place. Who was the player of the week this week? Oh, Manny Machado. My favorite. Well, it looks like Nolan Jones is starting to heat up a little bit. Or a lot would probably be a more accurate description. How's Tower Phillips doing? Surprisingly well. He's not getting many starts, but I mean, that's what you'd expect when you run your rotation like I do. And he's, if he could strike out like two batters every game, he would be doing even better. Franco's coming down to earth a bit, it seems. Sixto Sanchez a little bit as well. All right, Chris Sale, you are going on a rehab assignment. He is going to be back before the end of that, but uh, yeah, we'll give uh, Chris Sale a couple starts, and then he can fill in, replacing Tyler Phillips and be our number two starting pitcher. Sixto Sanchez is just so ridiculously good compared to the rest of the league. I'm pretty sure he just cut his ERA in his last start, too. Oh my goodness, and that especially hurts because uh, Nelson Gonzalez isn't going to be back for a little bit, so, you know, I'm just going to leave our team without a replacement reliever until Nelson Gonzalez gets back. How did Chris Sale suffer a setback on, like, day one of his rehab? He pitched one inning and got hurt. Come on, trainer, you're better than this, man. You're better than this. You're supposed to be much better than this. All right, well, Wander Franco is still looking really, really good. He's got his home run power up to 65 now, just waiting for the eye to come along. 223 OPS. He's only projected at 40 home run home runs now, so he has not been hitting many home runs lately. Sixto Sanchez is still continuing his absolutely insane season. All right. 
Well, let's go into the draft. Uh, Sixto Sanchez getting hurt is not something I like to see. I do like seeing his stuff potential somehow miraculously, despite its already insanely high ability increase. Corbin Martin's really starting to uh, come around this year. He is now our second most productive pitcher. He's still not looking great, but he's looking better. Ronald Acuna is starting to come around. Kelnick is still really good. Nolan Jones is really hitting well right now. Let's quickly check the prospect pipeline and see if there's anybody interesting that I would potentially want to trade for. How is this guy the number three overall pro oops, prospect? He's over Manny Coronado and Tenorio. All right, that guy's interesting. Kumar Rocker isn't that interesting, honestly. Not for OTP purposes. Oh, this is interesting. Wow, Case Williams got his mojo back? He doesn't look any different. Who's this Hoff Frias? Oh, he's a reliever. That's why he's rated so well. All right, well, let's see my head scout's potential overall rankings. Unfortunately, uh, there do not appear to be any prospects that I am both interested in and could afford to trade for. Mostly um, the fact that there aren't many that I'm interested in. I have an incredibly stacked system right now. I think I literally have the best players at every position possible, and then some. All right, well, Nelson Gonzalez is back, so he can step in as the closer. Please do not get hurt, Nelson Gonzalez. Let's check up on Chris Sale's progress. All right, well, he has now pitched a game much better. If he pitches one more game and does well, I'll bring him back. And then he can start pitching for the MLB team. I don't want to rush him and blow out his arm again, though. Corbin Martin improving is something you definitely like to see. Alexander Vargas, our backup, is uh, improving. Cunha somehow improving. I don't know where he's improving from, but he somehow did. Alec Thomas improving. That's good to see. Case Williams actually did make leaps and bounds. Now he's up to five star potential. And that looks... Oh, Tenorio improved. I guess he probably shouldn't be with Class A then, huh? All right, well, I guess we'll give him a promotion to high A. Kelnick is batter of the month. Sandy Alcantara is pitcher of the month. Yeah, Julio Rodriguez, who we traded away to the Padres as part of the trade that got us Tenorio, is Rookie of the Month. Wow, Kelenic is really good right now. He's up to uh, contending with Franco for MVP, which is something you would not have expected to hear, but that's where we're at. Has so made that third start? Okay, I don't think I've even simmed since he made his last start, so I apologize for my senileness. I don't know how Kelnick's hitting 360. All right, Chris Sale made a third start. He did not get hurt. I think he only pitched. How many innings did he pitch? Let's go into his 
that's it here. Okay, well, he must have pitched a couple of innings, and he did very well. Okay, I think he's ready to come up. Wait, how do you end the rehab? Do you seriously just have to write it out? Oh, that's annoying. Oh, wait, can I do this? Oh, right, my roster's full. Okay, that's the problem. All right, well, thanks for filling in, Phillips. You did pretty well. All right, Chris Sale is joining the rotation. Kyle Wright's been pretty good, actually, as a back of the rotation guy, but uh, he's going to drop a little bit further. Chris Sale will now be our number two starting pitcher behind Sixto Sanchez. He's on a very affordable contract. His ratings are still pretty solid, and uh, hopefully we can get two good years out of him. And it's time for the draft. So it still looks like there aren't really any interesting prospects. We'll just hope that the best players fall to us. Well, it looks like there was one good player, but he already got drafted. Yeah. This is probably the best player available, and I don't like him. Maybe I'll take him and hope that he can uh, continue developing his bat. Or maybe I'll take this dude. We could use some pitchers, and he's not bad. But this Jamar Hayes guy and his avoid Ks is tempting. I'll take that picture. Oh, sweet. I get to draft twice in a row, so I will be able to take Jamar Hayes and his high avoid Ks anyway. And that even rhymes, even though I had absolutely no intention for it to do so. Wow, this is a pathetic draft class. It's our second round pick right now. And um, all of the talented players are gone except this dude. You know what? If this guy, this guy is actually capable of starting, I cannot believe that I didn't check that out. If he gets great, he got drafted. I just wasted. I just made a stupid mistake. Do not do that if you're in your draft. Please check your players and make sure that they're actually not capable of starting before assuming they're not capable of starting. <sighs> I can't believe I did that. This guy looks interesting. High avoid Ks. He could maybe be a second baseman with some development. All right, it's time to start filtering by personality because these guys, these are just not talented players. Interesting, this dude has a really good personality. He's actually got the defensive ability to play shortstop one day. And if his back comes around, he could be an interesting player in about three or four years. I think I like this AJ Shaver guy better. All right, now let's take a look at the normal high work ethic guys. Wow, players are really, this is a really low talent draft. <laughs> this is just a pathetic draft. I'm shocked that this draft is so bad. 
Is this the dude I wanted? This is the dude I wanted. I am astonished that the draft is this bad. I don't think I've ever seen a draft this bad. That's saying something because I've seen some bad drafts. I mean, what is it? It's like... It's the ninth round and everybody of any meaningful talent was gone by the fifth. And by meaningful, I mean any chance of developing into a half-decent major leaguer. For the sake of saving time, I'm just going to draft the best available player with a high leadership. Or the youngest available player with high leadership. Preferably pitchers and catchers because I think those are my two organizational holes right now. This is just a terrible draft year. This is essentially the equivalent of me throwing darts at a board with a list of names on it and uh, picking the guy whose name the dart lands on. I normally don't run my drafts like this, but again, I'm on a little bit of a tight time schedule, so I want to go through this as quickly as possible. And I will now just auto-draft the rest of this because I can't be bothered. Alright, let me make sure I don't have any draftees who need negotiations. I don't. Perfect. Alright. Wander Franco is just such a high-end talent. He really cannot be beat. I love that we have the three highest OPSs in baseball. And also that Sixto Sanchez is right now running away with all three Triple Crown categories. Two lead and wins, although Kyle Wright is breathing it on his tail, but with the number five starter spot, he's unlikely to reach him. Clean 20 strikeout lead. 5.2 pitcher war is more than double the next best pitcher. And our team is currently 764, thanks to all these superstars. Way to get hurt, Nolan Jones. Sixto Sanchez looks like he uh, went back a little bit, but not badly. He still is just such a talented pitcher. Wander Franco is somehow still sustaining this 13.2 war pace, and he is easily hitting over 400. I, at this point, I'll be pretty surprised if Franco manages to not hit 400. His home runs are likely to be over 30 this year, too. This is just... What more can you ask for? He's likely to have next to 100 extra base hits. And bat 400. Maybe more than 400. It's looking possible that in Wander Franco's peak years, he could potentially... Uh, hit the highest batting average of all time. I don't know what the single season batting average record is, but I think it's within reach for him no matter what it is.
Wander Franco still has a very clean lead in uh, OPS and war. Sixto Sanchez looks like he's starting to have a couple of rough outings. His ERA has gone up pretty much a whole run recently. Alec Bohm has actually dropped off a little bit in his home run ability. But he's still capable of hitting 44 in a season this year, so that's not bad. Filberto Boromini. Yasan Dominguez is all the way up to number two after his shocking potential spike. Um, Case Williams back up to number three after he tears his UCL. But that stuff looking really nice. Brady House... Uh, number four, and he looks like he's also continuing to improve his potential. Manny Coronado, unsurprisingly, cracking the top five, but I'd like to see him go a little higher, considering how talented he is. And here is the first prospect that's not on our team, and he's not even that good. And then we have six in the top ten, including every single top five. 457 prospect points, ladies and gentlemen. 457. This guy was a draft pick, right? Yeah, he was our first around draft pick. Well, Wander Franco might not hit 400 this year. Jared Kelnick has been a really good player all around. Sixto Sanchez should win the Triple Crown unless he blows it. He's got a perfect 10-0 record so far. How's Sale been doing? All right, in five starts, Sale's averaged a little bit better in six innings, so that's pretty good. Uh, he's kept his whip very low. He's allowed more home runs than desirable, but he's got a low ERA, and he's been pretty successful. I'd say that's a pretty decent start. I mean, worst case scenario, he's a decent number two pitcher. Best case scenario, we've got a trio of aces at the top of the order, assuming that uh, Corbin Martin can actually keep his stuff together. I mean, he's a four and a half star pitcher. That's better than 3.3 war. How was he better last year than this year? It looks like his stuff got better and he got worse. Oosh, Magwood really taking the L there. Case Williams really skyrocketing, improving a lot of stuff. Borbola improving. Vukovic improving. Pina improving. Oh yeah, I forgot I have Maximo Acosta. Arguin, Valdis improving. Getting a little bit of his stuff back. Who's Angel Ortiz again? Coleman Brigman. How has Antonio Senzatella been so good in this save? Oh, because he's an extreme ground baller at Coors Field, that's why. Juan Soto is something else, guys. He is an otherworldly talent. But no matter how good he is, He'll never be better than Wander Franco. For the record, I've never seen a Kelnick as good as this one. All right, what interesting children are there this year? Ruben Nunes, another pitcher. Yowza. I don't see how he's a four-star pitcher. He's got one good pitch. He's got really great personality, though, and you love to see really great personality in uh, your young players. This guy's just gap power. Ew, that personality. Hold it, this is Bobby Dominguez. It's not bad. That dude's interesting. Ooh. Oh, yeah, I found my guy. 
this is a really good hitting profile great personality he's probably capable of playing second base but he might end up at third is it this dude no it wasn't this dude it was a shortstop no it wasn't this dude this dude okay Corbin Martin is on the uh, strikeout leaderboard despite some of his issues. Uh, I guess I am going to have to pay him his full money. Seven fifty winning percentage, guys. Corbin Martin just had a good outing, I suppose, considering uh, that. Sixto Sanchez's uh, win lead is in jeopardy right now. I think somebody else has 10 now. Yeah, Zach Wheeler of the Phillies, and the Phillies have been a good team this season. Although Sanchez just won another game, so... Can Nick Birdie please not get hurt? Thank you. There we go, Emmanuel Machi. Very high talent shortstop. He will join our international complex. All right, I'll start going through my international complex in the offseason to save time. Sixto Sanchez just really great so uh, continuing, he's barely giving up any home runs. He's not giving up many walks, and he's striking out batters in loads. Wander Franco is still on pace to hit 400 and put up a 13 more season. And Jared Kalanick is also tearing up the baseball. All right, let's go. Kyle Wright's going to be healthy before his next start. Why did you even bother telling me about that? Wander Franco's a whole 100 points above Mookie Betts in the uh, OPS lead. 7.1 war. Sixto Sanchez is starting to drop his ERA again. I mean, any ERA below two and a half is just downright elite. An ERA that he's kept around two or below all season. Just wow. That looked like a rough outing. He only got three strikeouts and uh, his war dropped by 0.1. Alec Bohm is on the home run leaderboards. Chris, oh, okay, that's not Chris Davis. I think Sixto Sanchez is almost certainly going to win the Triple Crown this year. At 24 years old. I don't know the last time I've seen a pitcher that good, that young. I've had uh, some guys in my primary save who are close to that good that young, but they're not as young, and they're not, I don't think I've, I've had one guy better than Sixto Sanchez in my other save. Maybe two guys. In about 50 plus seasons in that primary save, plus all my others. Shocker, Wander Franco got the most votes. 
Well, actually, let's check out the all-star roster. Corbin Martin, Sixto Sanchez will be starting the game. Kirby Yates will be making it. Alec Bohm will be making it. So will Nolan Jones. Wander Franco will make it. Jared Kellenick will make it. And that's it. I'm, I'm surprised we didn't have more guys. All right. For the minor league one, Isaiah Magwood will make it. Who even is this guy? I guess he's actually a pretty interesting uh, relief prospect. Brady House will make it. Wow, he's been beating up AAA this year. Wow. And Tenorio and Coronado will also make it. And Dominguez. All right, well, let's go through this. Luis Arias has a hitting streak going. Interesting. Uh, Joey Gerber, one of our better middle relievers, out for an extended period. You know what? How's Bryce Jarvis? Okay, let's call up Magwood. I think he could use the MLB experience to continue his development, and he can be a long reliever with the middle relief option. Yeah, Mookie Betts wins the home run title. All right, let's get to this trading deadline. I'm really impressed with how this team is done. We've had some individuals like Sanchez and Franco just put out outstanding seasons. And we've had guys like Bohm and uh, pretty much literally the entire lineup put up really solid seasons. Chris Hill is really stepping it up as our number two pitcher. Great move to acquire him. Oh, what do you know? He also had a shutout. Nice. Yeah, Sale is a, it seems like he's getting better as he goes. Corbin Martin's also starting to heat up, I think. Kellenick is another one of those guys having an outstanding year. Nolan Jones having an outstanding year. But we all know who the superheroes of this team are. Our MVP and our Cy Young, man. Sixto Sanchez is taking huge leads in all of the Triple Crown categories. I don't think it's possible for anyone to catch him at this point. How has Gonzalez been as the closer? He's got 11 saves, 2 losses. Okay, I don't think he's been bad. I still can't believe how good Wander Franco is. 8.7 war is just unreal. Alec Thomas is making improvements on our Major League roster. He's had a pretty good year. Definitely had a good year. He's been very good at getting on base. Nelson Gonzalez with massive drop-offs. Oh, that's not the guy we signed. Manny Coronado making very nice improvements as well. Annie Tornorio making improvements. Yeah, Franco's batter of the month. Sanchez is pitcher of the month. Hey, look, it's Connor Siebold. I believe he's with the Phillies in real life. I believe he went over in the um, the Brandon Workman trade. Yeah, Sixto Sanchez is just unstoppable.
at the next stop, I will check in on Magwood and uh, Sale. Yeah, Sale's still doing very, very, very well. Magwood is doing pretty well in his MLB debut as well. Chris Sale is already on our war leaderboards for pitchers, despite missing so much of the season at the start. A 70, uh, 767 winning percentage is very impressive. Kalanick is on the war leaderboard now. Ew, Devers passed him up. And now Jones is on the war leaderboard. Back and forth and back and forth they go. Sixto Sanchez has dropped his ERA back to 189. There's almost no chance that anyone's going to catch him in any of the triple crown categories. Corbin Martin is now trailing him in a, or second to him in strikeouts. Edwin Diaz is back. All right. And that is a thick injured list. We've had some good relief pitching, and then we've had West to now. You know what happens? Oh, and Magwood's been pretty bad since I last checked in on him, apparently. All right, Bress. Brett de Goose. What a goose. All right, let's get through this season. Rafael Devers is having a really good year in Atlanta. I have kind of some regrets about trading him now, but I mean... Wright's been a really good pitcher for us, and Acuna's just had a really poor start to the season. I think he's started to heat up since. Sixto Sanchez is just otherworldly. He hasn't lost a game yet. Wander Franco is still on pace to hit 400. I, he's been very stable. 30 home runs, 40... Uh, 400 batting average and 100 extra base hits. Corbin Martin has really gotten good lately. He's projected to have quite a few strikeouts, and uh, he's starting to lower the walk and home run rates. Nolan Jones and Jared Kelenic have also been really, really good for us. 785 win percentage. We've been getting better as the season's gone on. And I say that when we lose two straight games. Nothing too special on those. All right, let's see here. Yeah, MJ Melendez has had a really good year as our catcher. He's hitting 270. I never thought I'd see the day. He's really upped his gap power all the way to 80 now. Um, of course, he's still an elite defender, and he looks like he's likely to replicate his really good season from last year. I still can't believe that Sixto Sanchez is lossless. I mean, I guess when you got uh, position players that good. Oh, that stings. Wander Franco going down with a strained lat. Congratulations, Brady House. You get to make your MLB debut. And just for the hell of it, I'm going to let MJ Melendez back second while he's out. Because I'm lazy. That's the primary reason. If you hear anything else from me, it's a lie. I'm lazy. The less mo the fewer moves I have to make, the better. Also, again, time thing. Technically, I was supposed to end this a couple minutes ago, but... Um,
<laughs> no big deal. And Corbin Martin getting hurt, that's a huge pain, partially because it takes longer to set up Magwood in the rotation, put him where he should be, and then set right as the starter. My voice is starting to go out from speaking so much today. Oh, this is taking too long. Oh boy, when a DSL2 player retires, you really gotta start shedding tears. It's such a shame that Wander Franco and Corbin Martin got hurt at such untimely points. I mean, Wander Franco's still gonna win the batting title and the MVP, but it's not the same year with him out for a couple weeks. Shocker, we clenched the NL West. 787 winning percentage. We're 20 games up on the LA Dodgers who have a 630 winning percentage. That's not one you tend to hear very often when you're 20 games up on a 630 team. The Dodgers are Behind the Braves, the second best team, or the third best, I guess. Sixto Sanchez finally had his win streak broken. But, I mean, a 23-game win streak. Although, I guess, uh, extending back into last year, that's how he got the 28. That is just insane. Nobody pitches like that. Sixto Sanchez has pretty much clinched the Triple Crown. He's got seven wins, 50 strikeouts, and a whole run up on everybody else right now. And he has almost doubled the war of Walker Buehler in second place. Corbin Martin is in third place. Jared Kelenic out? You've got to be kidding me. We're losing our stars left and right. How's Pretty House doing? He's doing pretty well in his MLB debut, all things considered. All right, Christian Robinson, you got to make your debut and start in uh, center field. And I'm just going to swap you and Bohm because, once again, I'm lazy. And here I'm going to swap you and Jones. Yasan Dominguez probably deserved to make his debut more. Wow, Chris Sale. He's already up to 4.2 war. Yeah, Wander Franco's back. I'm going to let Brady House stay on the roster, though. Not what I wanted. MJ Melendez was not made to bat second. I mean, I guess his profile has kind of evolved to make it a little bit better with more gap power, but uh, yeah... All right, we're starting to close out the season with a insane, insane year. Wander Franco, absolutely phenomenal. Sixto Sanchez, historically good season. Chris Sale, amazing after coming back from injury. Absolutely amazing, Chris Sale. Uh, he's only starting about 20 or so games, and he's still worth 4.2 wins. I am astonished by how good these guys have been. And it looks like the season is about to end. We're still only 20 games up on the Dodgers, so I guess we're not really uh, doing super well to close out the year. Kirby Yates getting suspended, not loving that. Wander Franco wins player of the week, shocker. Never seen that one before. Nolan Jones is second in OPS. Cody Bellinger is having an amazing finish to the year. His outstanding performance last season with an unbelievable year got him, I believe, uh, 
his MVP. And we're just a handful of games away. I believe we're two games away from the end of the season now. Brady House making some uh, improvements at the MLB level. He will not be on our uh, postseason roster. Chris Ryman won Rookie and Pitcher of the Month, huh? And that is Cody Bellinger winning Batter of the Month with his really good month. Sixto Sanchez winning the Triple Crown. Wander Franco at 424 to win his batting title at 22. That's a historic year. He led the league in doubles as well and hits. All right, well, that'll end this stream. Uh, next time, we'll go over our entire year's performance and then do the playoffs. I'll see you guys next time.